Hey, from the UAE, yeah. Big Bird. Oh my goodness, Big Bird is definitely one of the guys to watch right now in Street Fighter Five. One of the best in the world, undoubtedly. Um, just consistently placing high, yeah. and you know, consistently challenging the the, the, the most high caliber of players that exist in in, in this game. So. And Man. keeps going for his clutch plays. I mean, yeah. I still remember the clutch play against Machabo at Evo. If you guys haven't oh, seen this game, my goodness. watch the end of Big Bird against Machabo at Evo and just jump out of your sofa. That was so crazy. I surely jumped out of my chair yeah. when this happened at Evo. <laughs> but this guy is looking so strong. And Zafes Crimson, and as we were saying, right, what happened to Crimson last year is I think he got a, a period of time where like, I was talking to him and he was like, I don't know, I'm not feeling the game right now. Like when I play the game, I don't feel confident. Yeah. I, I feel like. I feel like I can't get in these positions where I'm confidently, okay, I got control, I'm gonna win. And it's got a moment where, you know, in this game in SF5, it's so important to trust in yourself, to trust in your skills. Yeah. When you get a slight doubt about what you're gonna do, it becomes so hard. And Crimson worked on it, he worked on the carrying this year, and I thought he would he would bust up the carrying immediately, but it looks like he's still gonna try. Dance him against Rashid, cuts he kick. I mean, we saw that in the crowd a moment ago, uh, before, before we came on. Like, uh, big uh, F-word said he was almost certain that he was not going to be Dalsim, but he is going with Sim to start things off. I guess maybe try it, see how, uh, you know, see how Big Bird deals Round with it. One. Maybe switch to the Karen if need be, but yeah. this is definitely his strongest character. Dalsim, he used to play Laura as well, but I don't really see him using her that much. He's, he's pretty much just uh, riding or dying on the Sim at the moment, yeah. I think. Well, let's see. I mean, his sim is, is one of the sims I love watching because his movement is really good. Yes. He's a really preemptive player. But what's, what's movement against Rashid, against the king of movement? Doesn't matter. You know, but you... doesn't need shoes. He's just moving around. He's just jumping around. So I'm saying. He's onto you all the time. Listen, Dora, you like. Oh! Drop to the force. Look at that. Yeah. Really right there. Big bird. Meaty Gale right there. Gets the throw as well. Oh, and immediately stops him from getting any kind of pressure. Activates his V-Trigger. And in the corner, the counter hit. He's gonna convert immediately to that whirlwind. Send him to the yoga class. And the first round goes for Big Bird. Hey man, that's where Dalsim lives. He loves that. Exactly. That's where he comes from. He's the boss there. He's the teacher. <laughs> okay. Let's get his teleport out there. Oh, crushed up! That was the timing on that. Big Bird is just... He knows what you want to do before you do it. Yeah. He's just like... I don't know, man. What the heck will happen there? All right, that interaction was not the best one. Should have done the Fierce Mixer, but he was not ready to convert on that one. Give us all to get away. Doesn't care about going in the fire. Hey, okay. Crimson right now is just checking the approach. Trying to stop Big Bird's approach in any way that he can. These medium Ooh. buttons are really doing damage right now. There we go, wake up jab. And often a sim doing a wake up jab when the opponent's grounded is normally a risk. Yeah. But man, I guess he saw his opportunity and took it. Yeah, because that's a four frame. Oh, yeah. three frames in the exactly. It's a, it's a three frames in the air, but the fourth frame is the one that will hit you in the ground. Yeah, exactly. Immediate opening by Big Bird. Sends him to the corner. Good luck, Crimson. Nice. Oh man, there we go. Crushed up. Dash up. 15 frame dash. And listen, he could have stunned with the mix up, but he wants the max damage, so he reset it. Big Bird with the big brain plays. That's the key. All right. Activation station is going to try to keep Rashid in the corner. Oh, but wow. immediate standing round hard. And that first game is going to go for Big Birds. Big hard kick. Jeez. Once again, convincing is the word. Absolutely. Bird, one of the favorites. I mean, you said it before. F4 said it. Matt said it. He's the, he's the favorite today. Listen, I, I don't think anyone is betting against this guy. Yeah. To be honest. Really hard one. Good. Crimson now thinking, and now Karin. Crimson is going back to character select, and he's like, do I keep with Dalsim, do I go with Karin? To be honest, the Sim wasn't looking too bad. It was definitely not looking too bad. No, but the thing is, is, you know, in this matchup, when Rashid gets the momentum, it's extremely hard, almost borderline impossible to get out of Sim. Yeah, it's, it's tough. It's a really hard one, and yes, we're going to see Karin, that Karin, which took Crimson, to get some points this year, he yeah. had a really good performance at Reflect, where he got a third, I believe, yeah, Reflect. Re Reflect, I think, was his highest one this year. Yeah, a couple of uh, good performances with Karin. Not sure how confident he is with the character now, but definitely a better pick to face Rashid than Dalsim. Yes, certainly. For sure. Certainly. And, for uh, sure. and Rashid versus Karin is definitely a matchup we've been seeing a lot Round this one. year in a lot of these top eights. Right. I mean, this was our grand finals at Evo, right? Yep. Rashid Karin, we've seen that matchup more than once. That's the one Big Bird lost to Bonchan. Fortunately, that time. Let's see if he can. Uh... Oh, there you go. Nice counter hit the version there. Gets the max damage on that. Nice. Corner pressure now. 
And that is what Crimson wants. He wants to get that turn. Immediate turn for him. Great start of the round now. That Karim is making a statement. Cannot kill yet, but now one more. And one more pressure, and that's going to be a clean round for Crimson. Yeah, you see that meaty light kick. Very active. Yeah. Locks you down. Doesn't let you escape. And another oh, one. Oh, Great conversion. Yeah. He was ready for the Tenko. Wow. Yeah, Crimson, I don't know, maybe he tried to bait out DP or I'm not sure. I'm not sure what he baited, but now he has to deal with the corner pressure right now. All right. And the Shimi, no! Promotion was not on point for Big Bird. Immediately activates his Vitrigo 1 there. All yeah, damage. Yeah, he loves that Vitrigo 1 for the corner yeah. control. And man, Crimson busts out. And Crimson is chasing that back row as well. Immediately, you can see the delay that. Ooh, I'm not sure what happened there. Execution error for sure. I just see that one more opening. Crimson needs one more, though. He could have closed that one yeah. out. Not commit on this one. Crimson can get the round, uh -oh. but the double dash gonna still block that one. Not pressing any button right now. Oh, oh what? Go max range. What was that jump medium kick? Jump medium kick, stuffing that crouching medium punch. Yeah, I, I mean, guess I don't know. I guess that Crimson correctly identified that range. I'm really surprised. Yeah. To see that interaction, that crouching medium punch. He's a really strong NTR. It is. Has a really strong hitbox to hurt rock ratio as well. Mm. Then Karim. I guess maybe he uh, pressed it a little bit too late. I'm not sure. Yeah. Got to stop this one. Alright, there we go. Eagle Spike buff. Does not bounce away. Keeps that momentum Ooh. and clattered. Oh, that was a reset. So this is going to be a ton of damage. That is going to be big boy damage there. Sends it to the corner. And now, out from the back oh. on the throw. And now Crimson has an opportunity to activate Vichigo. Alright, there we go. Knock down there. Garenken. Back row. Yeah. But he's not going to wait. He's not gonna. He's not gonna take any risk right now. Yeah, zero on Big waiting. And he didn't want to even press. He didn't even want to consider trading there. Ooh. Well, that trade would that be close to killing him anyway. Yeah. Like, I think he would have died. Yeah, like, I'm, not, I'm not gonna try. Because the the wind powered mixer zero on block. Yeah. You know that's why Crimson just blocked it out there. You know you can't challenge because you would die. Alright, the challenge, the crushing jab. Crimson taking his time. Man, challenge with a challenge medium punch after that. There we go. Ex mixer. He's waiting in the corner, a bit too far. Great facing by Big Bird there. Get some damage. Yeah. No, oh, that's a punish right there. And now Dotic, were they all confirmed or just purpose? <gasps> oh that's my the god. One. Damn. I, I swear Big Bird has the best neutral jump shimmy in SF5. <laughs> I like, don't know. He touched everyone by such things. Everyone fell for it. Does. Everybody's fell for that, man. No, Big Bird for sure. delaying that at the perfect time. Neutral jump in. Catching that delay for our attempt. And that's going to be that, Big Bird. Convincing once again. Crimson still doing much better with his carry yeah. than he did with his Dalsim. Is, is it too late though? It that's might the question. be. It, it, might, be. Might, it <laughs> might be too late. Maybe that first game was not the best choice for him, but for now you are sent immediately to the corner, the best place for a shield to be. No challenge on that one. Crimson trying to get some pressure. Ooh, crash counter meets her halfway. Damn. DP. And they go, oh, and that's why an Nvidia, that's a really smart one as well because the forward dash after any extra Senha is not yeah, safe. Not, you can't punish it on wake up, and that's what Big Bird did with that wake up three frames. Nice throw right there. Grimson right now in the driver's seat. Big Bird just spends the EX while we shot to get out of the corner. And look at this, just gonna be chipping away at that life. Yeah. Is it gonna be in front behind zero on block? Immediate zero on yeah, block. Do it, do it. want to deal with that zero on block situation. But now no hit you got to walk with. Ooh. Oh, crushed up with the Fierce! That will be that set point right now for Big Bird. He pressed the Fierce in this situation as well. Big Bird. Oh man, you see that right there? That was beautiful. Another good opening for him. He goes straight to the corner. And Big Bird's facing is so good against it's, him. He's always outside of Crimson's effective range. Yeah, I think Big Bird's with Punish Game is some of the best in the world, yeah. for sure. It's always been an extremely good player at staying where you cannot do much and where you have to take the risk to yeah. get in. He's forcing Crimson to press more buttons, to take more risks. That's right, sort of unfamiliarity a moment ago there. Crimson uh, unable to get frame perfect Tenko. Yeah. Don't know how practiced this Karen is. All right, there we go. Garenke back steps away. Man, I'm very fortunate that Big Bird able to block in time. Break. Big Bird, oh. and that should. Is he going to get? No. Alright, not yet, but not now enough. that's a guess for the game situation. The great block 
for Crimson has saved his life, has Grigor or just needs two openings that, if he wants to save it. That crouching light kick yeah. might be the tail of the tape. Look at the range on it. So, so effective at closing out rounds. Yeah, you know right now you have to bank probably on a, on a roundhouse to try to get oh, something on the fierce button, but that's going to be Big Bird to get the win with the Mosquito by the crouching light kick. And Crimson will drop into 